Hey, by the way, did you ever see an elephant's foot umbrella stand? A real one? You know, the realistic kind? Where, uh, during... Always there is, there's, there's a scene where, uh, Have you ever seen, you know, around the roofs of the buildings, up and down the... And the, and the lovely girl uh, who, uh, he, he's tearing this beautiful... Well, I saw at least seven of those over the weekend, see, and they're running around on the roofs. And I came to a conclusion there. If life really was like that, I mean, really, wouldn't it be? If, if pow, 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 and Rocco the lip, you see, is swinging up and down the fire escapes. Oh, please, I love you. <laughs> wouldn't it be wild? Oh. And think of the great headlines. And think of the wonderful newspaper stories. Every day you could pick up the newspapers, you know, and there would be, there would be all those stories in the paper. And, oh, wouldn't it be just... <laughs> oh, what a... But once in the great while, though, something pops up right out of the paper that makes all of that jazz look like kid stuff. And you never know where it's going to happen. Now, oh yes, by the way, before we go any further, I would like to say that tonight's text is not for women and children. And uh, if you fall into either one of those categories, and uh, you know, you get a lot of things you can do, you don't have to, so, so please, uh, without, please leave now. Now, uh, getting back to our text here, did you read that wild story over the weekend? Now, I, uh, I, 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 I really did go into auctions, especially auctions when they're selling some old recluse's estate. Very ancient and a very eccentric recluse. I mean, he made all kinds of dough in the yeast business. So right there, you know, he's got a lot of stuff going. You could tell it, right? <laughs> he made yeast. So the like of which uh, the average pack rat could not even comprehend. And uh, <laughs> here's, uh, here's all this stuff. He had a cut glass crystal fringe hanging, and each candle, and this was the final, the, the, the little Philippe, each candle, you th- imitation candles, you know, with a little light bulb at the top, each candle was held in a brass fist. Now get that, sticking out of this great big pile of glass, but you haven't heard the end of it. On each brass fist, right below the, each brass fist, on each brass wrist was a brass cuff. And sticking out of each brass cuff, kid stuff. How about that? This thing was seven stories tall. I almost bought it for my pad. Oh, boy. 378 bulbs going all at once. Hey, George, now, what, what, I, I say you cannot give up on mankind if he's capable of this kind of stuff. I'm just talking about mankind in general. <laughs> A genuine African packet there in Mumbrella Stand. A genuine African packet there in Mumbrella Stand. Something else equally acceptable outside of an elephant's knee. Have you ever looked at an elephant's knee, really? So he's going, well, I, I'm looking at this thing, and I think, by George, you know, you can't give up hope. You just can't give up hope. And over the weekend, I'm walking along on 3rd Avenue, and they got all these shops where they're selling stuff like that, you know? Strange, beautiful, exquisite Circumscribed dreams all piled up there. You follow me here? It's the stuff like you drip off. You know what I mean? It just sort of... So the... Uh, and that's it, you know, with a big red thing on the top. And say, whoo, what's this? And you go over there. You can't just take the thing, you know, and lift it off and look. So, so anyway, I'm walking past and there's this story. I stopped. Have you ever been, first of all, in the St. Louis Zoo? You have to understand the St. Louis Zoo is not like the zoo here from, well, uh, let's say from civilization. The, the guard who just on duty there, fooling around, sees a man, a big man, who has been reanimated and who has been set into motion, a kind of Frankenstein. Well, anyway, here is this guy at night. And just as he got the policeman, the man started to walk up a hill by talking to them. The House of Lords snapped to the alert as Air Chief Marshal Lord Doubting. Oh, right out of Lewis Carroll, Air Chief Marshal Lord Doubting announced his belief in the vocal method of scaring vermin. Emotionalism will get us nowhere. I, I tell you about the time, the lady. Of course, uh, this is this is the kind of thing that you don't like to tell children. If there are any children awake, uh, I just uh, all I have to say is that you're going to learn it somewhere. And uh, 
Uh, uh, there was this lady uh, who lived out in Cincinnati. I'll, I'll just tell you the true story of it. I, I might as well lay it right out here in the line. There was a lady one time when I was working in Cincinnati, and I saw the incident happen. I will never forget it because it was one of those things, you know. It wouldn't make the Reader's Digest, but let me tell you, it made my psyche. <laughs> it also made my day. <laughs> Stop cutting it out, you guys. <laughs> Speaking of covering up. <laughs> oh, well, I... Um... You see, the reason I told the women and children to get out, and I, I feel very good about it now, since it's quite obvious that the theme that came out uh, was the theme that we had calculated would all along, and that's that that thin thread of the divinely absurd which runs through all of the actions of all of us. You don't think for a minute that, that, uh, that countries, big countries, big countries, I don't care, name any big country. Do you really? Why, well, that's, that's all that history's ever been about. What happened just after them? <laughs> Seriously, you know? But we like to think they did, you know? That the poor old Jefferson left this mortal coil feeling cheated. Right, George? He just, just missed out. Just missed out on Vista Vision. Speaking of the safes, boy, I'll tell you who's got a loaded one. You ought to drop by down to the Mandarin house. <laughs> Wise apple. The Mandarin House. Who are they? Who are they? What do you mean, who are they? All them guys in Washington, the big guys, the big shots. Guys with all the dough. Who are they? You know who they are. Mandarin House. What do you mean, who are they? You know who they are. Stop it, you're pushing again. They don't tell you nothing, Mac. Crying out loud. <laughs> Keep your knees loose. Some night... Some nights it's awful, awful dark. You know, just just remember that. Just remember that elephant foot. 